Hello everyone and welcome to our Japanese mini shock channel. In our video today, we'll be looking at the top considerations when making a Japanese mini truck engine swap. A Japanese mini truck, also known as K truck, is a compact and small sized truck that can be used in a number of purposes. These vehicles are very powerful despite being small. Their fuel economy, low cost of running, and efficiency are some of the top factors that makes these vehicles to stand out. They have been compared to the standard pickup truck in some aspects. This clearly tells you how incredible these vehicles are. However, even the best vehicle is going to need some maintenance and repairs once in a while. And those repairs could be anything ranging from wheel changing to engine swaps. In this guide, we'll delve deep into the process of removing an engine from a Japanese mini truck. We'll go through some of the top considerations to do before making an engine swap. Here are some of the top considerations for anyone that is looking to remove an engine from a Japanese mini truck. It makes everything easy and gives a clear picture to someone who doesn't know what to do or expect during an engine swap. Number one, have a realistic budget in mind. Everything is successful when you have a well laid plan in place. The planning process starts with having a realistic budget in mind because money will determine everything from the engine that you're going to get to the speed and the completion of the project. Here, you'll need to factor in the cost of acquiring the engine as well as other costs such as labor and acquiring some parts if needed. When this is over, then you have done half the work. Second thing that you need to consider is the engine weight. Some people think and simply assume that the engine that they get will simply fit well in the mini truck and that is all they need to know. They forget to ensure that the weight is within the required range. If you get an engine that is heavier than the one that was being removed, then you could be calling for trouble. Stability is something that one needs to keep in mind. With an engine that is too heavy or one that is too light, as compared to the previous one, stability could be an issue. This could also cause the vehicle to be hard to drive and operate as it was intended in the beginning. You have to make sure that the weight is close to the one that has been replaced. Lastly, you should be ready for customizations. When you're doing an engine swap and not replacing the engine with a similar one, then there are some parts that might not fit well like a glove. With respect to that, you need to be ready to make some customizations. So, ensure that there is someone that can help you to do that if you cannot do it yourself. To conclude, making an engine swap is something that many people tend to consider at one point in time. This usually addresses a lot of engine problems as well as also upgrade the vehicle when needed. Shared in this guide are some of the top considerations that one should consider when doing an engine swap. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to this channel for more videos like this. See you in our next video.